Insights for L&D in 2023 and some of the trends that we are hearing from our customers is that the skills economy is here to stay. With 2023 and the macroeconomic situation in the world right now, ensuring that every employee has up-to-date skills or skills that can get the job done or be compliant will continue to be the number one thing that most L&D teams are looking at. What we are seeing as an extension of that is more and more academies of excellence or skills academies form with some of our clients. And those are really trying to pinpoint the skills that a particular department or function within an organisation needs to be able to deliver. The second one that we're starting to hear about more and more is the integration of HRIS data within an L&D system, whether that is LMS data, LXP data, but we have talked about data-driven decision-making for many years, uh, and we're starting to see the fruits of those discussions with organizations really being a lot more data-driven. And the majority of organizations are fully aware of the impact that data can have on decision-making, but also the stories that we relay back to the wider business to prove that what we are doing as L&D professionals is really having a business outcome. One of the more short-term items that we're starting to see is the creation of more audio-based learning providers. We are so used to listening to podcasts, to YouTube videos, as we go and do the shopping or groceries. What we're hearing from our clients is that their employees expect a similar experience with their corporate learning systems. Based on the recent developments with chat GPT-3, we would expect a reflection point for LND of our skills. That's not to say that by the end of this year, AI is going to be able to replace many of our roles, but it's certainly going to augment what we do. Do we need to learn a particular skill at the level that we previously did if we have a virtual assistant that is very low cost and way more efficient than we are at acquiring those skills? But I would expect that to expand uh, much more widely with the release of ChatGPT3, but also the updates they'll be making to that system over the near future. And I think that will really question some of the skill strategies that some people have and the maturation of those and really the reflection point of what skills do we really need people to be excellent at in 2024 and beyond.